Hello everyone and welcome to another example in our per unit analysis series of problem solving. Here a single phase 10 kVA 200 volt generator has an impedance uh, internal impedance Zg of 2 ohms. Um, so those values are given as base values and the question here is to find the voltage, the generated voltage, per unit voltage, uh, to produce full load current under short circuit conditions. So here, again, um, you have to start with the knowns and the unknowns. So what is the question asking here, the per unit voltage? So let's write that down. So V per unit is what they're asking us, right? And what is given? Here we have the um, generator internal impedance given as Zg, 2 ohms. And then they say that um, the ratings of the generator are, are base values. So here we have 10 kVA and a 200 volt generators. So we know that uh, SB is 10 kVA, and that's base, uh, B for base, so 10 kVA. And then uh, we have a VB as well, uh, listed as 200 volt. Okay, so we need to find the per unit voltage based on these knowns and, you know, equations and whatnot. So let's start with the actual question. So what is V per unit? If you were to find that, what's the formula? So we know that per unit voltage is going to be actual voltage of the generator. So it's actual voltage divided by base voltage. So here, in this particular equation, what is known and what is not known? So what's known here is the base voltage, which was given as VB 200 volt. So we can say that we don't know the actual voltage yet. So, but VB is given as 200 volt. So we can put VB here. So we know that this is going to be something divided by 200 volt. Okay. So from here, how do you find an actual voltage? So voltage typically is IR, correct? So V, actual voltage of the generator, is equal to IR, or IZ, whatever. So IR. So this is for the generator, right? So we know that this is IG divided by, I mean, multiply by uh, IG multiplied by RG. The impedance of the generator, is though given, is given. So this is IG ZG. And in this equation, what's known and what's not known? What's known here is the 2 ohms. So we have 2 times IG. And remember that the ratings of the generator are given as the base values. So if, we, if I have to calculate the unknown here, which, which is the current, I'm going to have to rely on the base values that were given for the generator. So we can calculate here that um, we can see here that the current IG can be calculated as using the base values of the generators, right? So this would be, we know that I is SB divided by uh, VB. So SB is 10 kVA. Voltage base, base voltage is 200 volt. So this will give you uh, 10,000 divided by 200, that's 50 amp. So I know now I can go back previously, and you'll see the reason why I, I like to list the knowns and unknowns that kind of follow a certain logic, because that'll help me not get confused while I'm doing problem solving. So now that I have my current um, you know, the generator, I can come back here and calculate my um, 
my voltage, actual voltage. So now that I have IG, so this will give me 2 times 50 amp. And now I can go back, which is this is 100 amp. I mean, not 100 amp, 100 volt. I think it's this voltage. And now I can go back and just plug that in here and then find my per unit voltage, which is the original question to begin with. So this is a half. And so I know that um, V per unit is equal to 100 divided by 200, and that's 0.5 per unit. So pretty simple. Um, you know, the problem can be, can have a lot of words, but if you just follow a simple, you know, method of known unknowns and just start with what the question is asking and just circle back, you know, that'll help you pretty much solve any problem that you, that you have. Thank you and see you in another video.